All right. So today what I wanted to do is I was going to give a quick rundown on just recently a situation that I had. <clears throat> Excuse me. So being type 1 diabetic for going on 20 plus years, I have thankfully never really run into any type of real sickness. The flu, anything like that has always kind of avoided me. But this year, I know with COVID and different things that are in the in the air, somehow it got me. <clears throat> And obviously being a diabetic, one of the main concerns that I, as well as anyone else watching this, always probably has is how to prevent any type of blood sugar swings. So what I wanted to do was give a little bit of a rundown on what my experience was like uh, being sick really this time for the first time in quite some time. Um, and really what I did to get through it and kind of my experience and a little bit of feedback on how I've started to get better. <clears throat> so first things first, uh, today is day eight of this illness. Uh, yes, I've already been to the physician's office um, for the first little while. They didn't diagnose me with anything or come up with anything. I, I was tested twice for the flu. I was tested twice for COVID. Um, they really don't know what it was other than just a pretty bad bug. So long story short, I'll get to the end of it later. Um, they prescribed me an antibiotic and I've been taking that for now two days and the symptoms are night and day better. Um, I'm not 100% yet, but again, it's just night and day better. So obviously always end up going to the doctor's office if needed, but um, with that being said, some of the symptoms and how I was able to get through those, I'll get into that and how it impacted my sugar did not. So again, no flu, no COVID, had a bad cough, severe enough to where I didn't sleep two or three days because it was so consistent. Um, during this time, obviously, whether it's a sick day or non-sick day, I've looked, I've looked to really just minimize carbs in general, as the minima, minimizing carbs has really allowed me to hone in on my uh, blood sugar levels and has limited any type of spikes one way or the other. Um, pairing that with now with me being on the Omnipod and my CGM, it's just really helped. But especially while being sick, because your blood sugars are already typically gonna stand and run a little bit higher because your body has a little bit of more working to do. I really try to almost cut out carbs entirely. Um, the other thing with this is if I am gonna do any type of carb, it's zero processed. Uh, during this time I had an apple or two, um, but even when I did that, it did make me end up spiking up. So my advice is really minimize the carbs when sick. Uh, for this illness, it almost did not matter what kind of insulin I did, um, within reason. My blood sugar stayed right around that 220 mark, and again, I just could not swing it any higher or lower. Luckily, not any higher. I've been a lot higher while sick in years, years ago, but <clears throat> with this 220 being on average, I did increase my basal on my Omnipod by about 10%. Even with that, I didn't see much of a change, so I didn't really bother with doing anything else. Um, so again, I did get on a Z-Pack, is what I was prescribed just recently, um, and I've been taking that for two days, and it's been night and day better. However, these have been some of the, um, quote unquote, over-the-counters that I've been taking. So I've been just taking a um, C, vitamin C supplement, to somewhat help in my mind, this might be a placebo effect, but I have been taking this and I've been taking zinc. Um, again, obviously none of this, I, I'm not any type of physician or I'm not trying to prescribe anything to anyone, but this has just been my experience. But those two um, have worked along with the um, antibiotic. Um, the Dayquil Day, and the day quill night. Now, again, the more point of this, this video is to discuss kind of what I took symptoms wise um, during this sickness that did not impact my sugar in a more severe way. So in the past, I've taken medicines that have made me shoot up, whether it was an antibiotic in the past, uh, different cold and flu medicines, different things like that. And they would just shoot me through the roof and it was just a nightmare getting my blood sugars to come back. Um, 
but during this time, those were the ones that I stuck with. Obviously my go-to were cough, cough drops. Um, and lastly, just Gatorade Zero and water. Uh, obviously just staying hydrated was the main thing. When I had the fever and the body aches, I didn't want to have anything um, near me or by me. Or I didn't want to eat, but just making sure that I stayed on top of my hydration was crucial. Um, but again, that's kind of what I did and I just wanted to share it with y'all. Thanks.